वेलकम 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 सो टुडे विल स्टार्ट विद डीपीपीएचएस विच इज नथिंग बट टू टू डाइपिनाइल वन पिक्राइल हाइड्रोजिल एसए सो दिस इज अ मेथड व्हिच यूज्ड टू चेक द एंटीऑक्सीडेंट एक्टिविटी ऑफ फूड मे बी डिफरेंट सॉल्यूशंस डिफरेंट कंपाउंड्स वी कैन चेक द एंटीऑक्सीडेंट एक्टिविटी सो आई डीपीपीएच इज अ व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल दैट वी नो व्हाट इज द प्रोसीजर दैट वी आल्सो वी नो सो इन गी सैंपल एज वी नो दैट देयर आर एंटीऑक्सीडेंट्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट विटामिन ए डी के ऑफ सोलिपिड सल्फाइडल कंपाउंड्स सो ऑल दीस कंपाउंड्स आर एक्टिंग एज एंटीऑक्सीडेंट्स एंड व्हेन दीस आर ब्रोट नियर टू द डीपीपीएच व्हिच इज अ फ्री रेडिकल सो व्हाट दे डू दे डू डोनेट द हाइड्रोजन आइटम टू द फ्री रेडिकल एंड देन वी देयर बाय डिक्राइजिंग द डीपीपीएच कलर सो इनिशियली डीपीपीएच इज वायलेट कलर एज रिटर्न ऑन द screen and uh, as it get reduced by antioxidant present in the sample it will get converted to or it can uh, it will be uh, decolorizing to yellow golden or or, or either it will be transparent in color okay so full form of dpp i am again repeating is 2 2 diphenyl 1 picryl hydrogel and uh, for this test we require uh, 0.06 millimolar that is around 6.09 into 10 power minus 5 mole per liter here it's written that concentration of dpp is required so uh, the assay is actually it is uh, to determine the antioxidant activity of ghee sample using dpp assay or to determine the radical scavenging activity of ghee sample towards dpp so uh, as as shown in the structure this is the structure of dpph here we can see that two nitrogen atom in the, are there in the center and uh, there are three benzene benzene rings are there and uh, since it is having free radical at the center it is having color violet color and uh, uh, as uh, as antioxidant comes in the so you can see the last reactions also here so the, here we have a dpph free radical and if antioxidant comes in its in its vicinity so what will happen this uh, antioxidant will donate the hydrogen atom to dpph and get converted to reduced dpph so dpph h and uh, there will be uh, generating the antioxidant radical now this anti antioxidant radical can form stable products uh, by di dimerization so here in this reaction we have shown dimerization so two antioxidant free radical are joining and they are forming the dimer compounds stable compounds or they can uh, re uh, react with free radical also forming again is double compound or they can also react with peroxy radical to form the stable compounds so uh, since the stable compounds are uh, generated so no more uh, further uh, chain reaction will proceed okay so uh, just to tell you how to prepare 6.09 into 10 power 5 minus 5 molar per liter dpp solution what you have to do you have to take uh, 2.401 mg dpp solution in a 50 ml beaker and then you add 25 ml of ethyl acetate you can add and then you keep the uh, sample in a refrigerator overnight and then next day you can make up the volume to 100 ml again, again using ethyl acetate again using ethyl acetate you can make up the volume so that your solution will be your uh, 6.09 into 10 power minus 4 mole per liter solution will be there okay now uh, coming to procedure so we have any samples say we have ghee sample we are taking today so uh, uh, how to prepare the sample for uh, how to prepare uh, how to carry out the uh, assay for for the sample as well as for the control so you take 0.2 ml of ghee sample in a test tube and then you add 3.8 ml of ethyl acetate and then 1 ml of dpp solution so uh, after mixing then you can keep it the solution for 10 minute so that uh, the so as to uh, the reaction to will occur so if any antioxidant which is there in the sample that will donate the electron or the hydrogen to the dpph and thereby decolorizing its color so you have to take the reading at 5 cm nm for control you will take only ethyl acetate no sample will be there for ml ethyl acetate 1 ml dpph solution and keep for 10 minute you will take the reading at 5 cm nm so why 5 cm nm because lambda max for dpph is 5 cm nm okay so uh, now since the control absorbance will be higher because uh, uh, in control there is no antioxidants which are present whereas in sample since the antioxidants are present so antioxidant ghee can we can had uh, bha tbhq uh, these are synthetic antioxidant uh, bht bh tbhq bha so all these are synthetic antioxidants even uh, uh, natural antioxidants like vidari kanda uh, ashwagandha rosemary Uh, vitamin a d k can be added uh, and if these are present in the sample so now neutral antioxidant which are present in ghee sample include the vitamin a d e k phospholipids and sulfidic compounds and so their absorbance uh, will be will be uh, they will decolorize the dpph uh, by donating the hydrogen atom to the dpph and thereby uh, decreasing the od so decrease the absorbance so a percentage inhibition or that is nothing but the an antioxidant activity of the uh, samples or or radical scavenging activity of the ghee samples towards dpph is then given by control absorbance minus sample absorbance divided by control absorbance into 100 so that much percentage inhibition will come that is uh, that is that much percentage antioxidant activity uh, the samples are showing uh, so as we know that in ghee sample if we consider the only the ghee sample wherein uh, uh, 
uh, antioxidants were present to a very uh, less quantity so dphsa and the percentage inhibition will be around 20 to 25 percent where uh, whereas if you add bha in ghee sample dbh in ghee sample then uh, your inhibition can go to 85 percent for bha or 90 to 95 percent for tbhq so this is again uh, so this is uh, depending on the strength of the antioxidant uh, activity or the strength of the ant uh, antioxidant uh, yeah, which is there in the sample or the concentration of the antioxidant which are there in the sample that will determine the percentage inhibition and that will determine the antioxidant activity of the sample so is tarah se hum dpph se ghee ke sample mein ya kisi bhi sample food sample mein hum karte hain dhanyawad